Okay, guys, uh, I've got all the dogs in here, or all but one. The dog's in here, so don't be surprised if we have little ones jumping up, jumping down. You want up, Dreamer? Come on. Up, up. Up, up. Just big yawn. Are right, you going to see? There's Inca. Lounge. And Dreamer. Say hi, Dreamer. And Puka's over there on the floor. All right. So you've said hi to all the dogs that are in here. So, all right. Listen, um, oh, there are many, many different ways of getting where you're going to go, okay? And all the ways are right and perfect. So, uh, I want you all to know that. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of, of insight here. As you, and I'm going to use terms like, time space terms up down terms even though you know it's it's not like that but I'm going to use those terms because that's what we've got so as um, the creation was being played with and tweaked to get the to see how low the human uh, a soul in a human body could go vibrationally there was kind of it stepped down right and I would say that the uh, the higher versions were like, um, um, shoot, it just went running out of my head. You know, like, uh, Hindu, Buddhist, Taoist, Taoist, way up there, um, and then it, or the, uh, the originals were way up there, and, uh, yes, yeah, and she's back. Okay. The originals were way up there, and they still are way up there. Any of the original peoples um, that have access to, like, old, old knowledge, Native Americans, the ones in Native Australians, Native, Native New Zealand, Native uh, Inuits, uh, Native Hawaiians, Native Central America, uh, South America. Uh, there's original peoples everywhere, and they're like way, way at the top. They have a lot. They're very close to correct data. Then there's like uh, the Taoist, and then Hindu, Buddhist, uh, all the way down to the monotheistic religions. That really took humans to really, really, were assisted in taking them really, really low vibrationally. So thank you them for doing that, helping with that experience. But as you go back up, since you are in human time space, you might be drawn to you a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Now those top ones, they were still, they don't have all the, they, they, they've skewed it. Because it was their job to bring humans lower in vibration. So they'll go, truth, 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 truth. And like, this is just an example. The top ones, 90% truth, 10% not truth. And the bottom ones, 90% not truth, 10% truth. For As an example. Ish. Now, I'm not interested in any of those. Because they're all in 4D and 3D. They're all, all of them. 4D, 3D in that uh, gradual process of going to lower vibration, lower vibrations. So, some of you may be interested in going gradually up and experiencing those as they move up. Some of you have spent decades um, moving through them anyway. You've gone back and forth from, like, say, India or Native American or or um, whatever. Take your pick. And you may have started out Christian, and you may have messed around with all different kinds of Christianity. You may have gone from Christian to Muslim, Muslim to Christian. It doesn't matter how you do that. Um, and you can do that right now. Just like you can move around through all the religions here. Uh, when you step it up to the next level, the geckos and the and the uh, pigeons in 4D, well, you can do that whole thing all over again because there's a whole bunch of them arguing about, like, like I said, 90% truth, 10% untruth. There's a whole bunch of them going, okay, yeah, but my 10% is right and theirs is wrong, whereas somebody else has a different 90%, 10%, and they'll argue back and forth. Now, to you, because you... It, you've gone from 10% truth to 90% truth in that process. You might be going, ooh, ah, ooh, I've got the perfect place. These guys are awesome. They're, they've are they got all the knowledge. They've got all the love. They've got all the whatever. And that's great. 
That is absolutely fantastic. And if that feels right to you, then go for it. My question is that it's really hard to find me on YouTube. So why did you find me? Because did you find me that if you went to that that higher 4D level of 90% truth, of feeling this overwhelming love that I have described to you, I told you that it would be a love that you would not, that would blow you away. But that love is still just a very small percentage of what's out there beyond. Very, very limited. You just have been so far away from true love that, man, just a taste of love is just, whoa, right? But you can gradually get up there and get to the real thing. Uh, I personally am not interested in any of the 3D, 4D dudes. None of the games. Not interested. Going 5D and out. So my question is, if you've been doodling around there and it feels good, why are you listening to me? Why did you stumble upon me? So if it was me and I was in your shoes, that's what I would ask myself. How did I get to her? Because I'm sitting here telling you that all this who are people that you followed that made you feel really a lot better is still a part of the game and there's more to it and I'm going to turn around and say to you turn inside turn inside don't look at anybody up on a stage don't listen to anybody on a daze don't look at anybody who's looking down at you and smiling condescendingly or even lovingly okay don't don't there are so many ways of getting to 5D and beyond that, uh, and there's a handful of people who've got their way of doing it. And does their way work? Sure, it does. But it's not going to work for everybody. And a lot of people are going to sit there and they're going to try and go, ooh, ah, ooh, and then be stuck and not know why. And I'm really tired of watching people do that. I'm tired of it. You don't need them. You don't need me. You don't need anybody but yourself. You need to start trusting yourself. And if you do the happiness, happiness. And if you start loving yourself bit by bit, you're, you will have subtle memories. You will have subtle knowingness, knowingness. And as you subtly accept those things little bit by little bit, <coughs> and walk them over, that will take you to 5D and beyond. Faster than anything. And easy. Easy. Just understand it's subtle. Listen to you. Take all your time to you. Don't do the other. We're past that already. That was decade, last decade and before. And all those guys, all those ooh ah goo guys were great for that period of time. But if you're listening to me, you're beyond, beyond that now. So you listen to you. You can do this. You don't need anybody's help. You don't need my help. All I'm doing is telling you what I'm doing so that you know how to do it yourself. I'm a big you can do this person. Not a who ah woo person. You can do this yourself. You don't need anybody. Your way of meditating is going to be unique to you. Your path is going to be unique to you. If you listen to somebody else's path too much and try to force yourself down that path, you will fail. At some point, it will it'll go offline. It will disconnect. You've got to do it yourself. You can listen to them and you can go, now all the stuff they say, love yourself, and and uh, there's they've got a lot of information, but don't follow them word by word, step by step, because you can't. You're unique to you. All right? Okay. All right, well, that's it on this one. Let me get it uploaded, and I'm sure I've got more to say today. I just feel that I've got more to say today. All right, guys, huge hugs. I love you bunches, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.